these are my clippers and this is the apron mm -hmm. and then this is the brush good okay and this is the barber good how many years has it been since you've been cutting hair oh, i've been cutting hair since 1949 and i have done over 6000 haircuts what made you begin oh the spare time income we had no barber in our village so I saw the possibility to make a, f a few francs and I sent out postcards to all p farmers who had uh, boys that I'm offering my services for hair cutting. Tuesday night and Saturday uh, afternoon I was cutting hair in the Riedikon and uh, much to my surprise it was a great success. <laughs> I had I had people coming with clean hair, filled with cow manure, with hay, uh, with sweat, full of sweat. I had them all until one day a woman was ringing my doorbell and I said to her, can I help you? She said, yeah, I came for a haircut. I said, well, young lady, <laughs> I don't do ladies. She walked right by me into the hallway of our apartment and our house saying you do now <laughs> and uh, I couldn't chase her away I said well after she said well you have been doing my whole family all these years so it's about time that you learn something new <laughs> and it was a success she was very very pleased the way I was managing her hair it was just a regular haircut no dressing, no nothing. Why well, I didn't want it. Even... I, didn't... I always fall asleep during haircut. Oh, falling asleep. <laughs> the local mail carrier on his tour, he brought the mail twice a day, once in the morning, one in the afternoon. So in the afternoon when he came, he dropped off the mail and plopped himself into the chair. <laughs> He was grossly overweight, you could hardly see his neck. <laughs> He's all fat all around. And within about 20 seconds he was sound asleep. <laughs> then I had to wake him up and he was all done. <laughs> and he paid me, it was one franc and 30 cents at that time, a haircut, which was about 35 cents American money. And I was happy for every penny I could make at the time. The most difficult haircut I ever made was on a two-year-old little boy. He was so stubborn. I had to call my mom for help and the boy's father and Murti. The three of them were holding the boy and I was cutting his hair. The sweat was running down and the tears, everything was sticky. <laughs> <laughs> he was screaming. I met the guy many years later and we talked about it. In the meantime, he has become a police officer. <laughs> he didn't cry anymore. <laughs> Funny. So when did you get all these fancy barber tools? Within the first two or three weeks in this country. Oh, really? I went to Sears. It says right here, Craftsman. Uh-huh. This thing is 50 years old. Wow. <laughs> 50 years old. So that old. was probably one of your first big purchases here in over the States, there, huh? Over I had to sell all my equipment in order to pay for yeah. the tickets to come over yeah. here, and that included the barber set clipper. Uh-huh. had a very nice one over there. So okay. you probably were thinking of making a few, a few extra dollars over well, here, over too, here, then. When I heard that <laughs> how much you have to pay for a barber, and uh, knowing already how I can handle it easy myself, so I didn't want to waste any time. And I went out to buy the, the clipper set. I think it was $12. I'm not quite sure anymore, but it was definitely not more than $15, which, by the way, is still the same price. For less than $30, you can buy a clipper set. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, Meyer. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, looks good. Turn around so that the... the oh, I've got to get a close-up of the ears again. <laughs> okay. Oh, I forgot something. 
It's the nail sticking out a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Piercings at no charge. Everything's got to be straight. Okay, this is it, folks. Curtains. Bye.